Welcome guys, how you doing? Welcome to my show. Today we're gonna to talk about installing this Vivo bracket. I've been wanting to put this outside for a very long time. So today we're gonna to show you how it is. So pretty much this is a motorized uh, ceiling mount, okay? So in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to install it, all right? And thank you for subscribing and give me a like. All right, here we go. So this comes with the bracket. Instructions how to install. Remote control. Now they does need an outlet. So I'm gonna put an outlet right up here. This is where the TV is gonna go. Okay. So pretty much it's just kind of center this area where this is where we sit down. So what we have to do, we have to check. First thing we have to do is check where the beams are. So you see this is all soft. We will need to take, we're gonna take this down. We're gonna analyze where are the beams. Where, where can we modify? We might have to put a solid plywood so you could have something to hold. Remember, we're gonna put a 55 inch TV. So it does weigh a lot. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna find the center where we're gonna put the TV. So this is gonna be my center. So I always like to mark where I'm gonna go. So pretty much the TV will go here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this off. Now gently, this is uh, vinyl. Okay, so it's not gonna break when you take it down. So slowly, you know, you pry it. It is, it is installed with nails, so you're gonna have to kind of pry it without bending the flashing here. So let's get into it. Just gotta get the right tools. A little crowbar and a screwdriver always helps. the stud here so these should be sometimes these are always like 16 apart but this man looks like it's just a soffit it looks like it's 24 apart but we're gonna double check that So I was right, uh, it's 16 apart. So that's a good thing. Okay. So now what we wanna do is, you see this, there's a spacing here. As you see, there's a spacing right up here. So we need to fill to fill up that gap. So if you turn it around here, okay, we pretty much have, uh, it's like a two inch gap here we have. And then when you get, when you get a little further, you have two and it gets, you know. So now we have to fill up that gap to make it nice and sturdy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is have some plywood and I'm going to screw it, I'm gonna cut it like 20 inches, just so I can grab the two studs that are there. But it has to be pretty much, you know, pretty thick. So right about two inches, I mean it could be either or. So here we go. All right, so we said uh, 16. That's where the 
beam arm we're gonna do 19 just give it a little so we have inch and a half so we still need a quarter left now i'll have a smaller sheet just to get it to where I want to get. You can always shim it, but I always like to kind of get it to where I want to get it, two inch. Okay, I'm gonna install the plywood. So I'm gonna, you know, Mark is here, the beam is here, and I have another beam right here. So what I like to do is, I don't like just to screw it right to the wood because what happens is the wood might it splits. So it's always good to do a free hole where the beams are. Okay. Then you can screw it so the wood doesn't split. And I am using three inch drywall screws. Okay, now we got a nice solid, so we can put the bracket, okay, nice and solid. Now the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna put an outlet. We're gonna put an outlet here for the power, because it does need power, because it's motorized. But now what we can do is, now that we know that this is installed, now we can do, we can close this now. We can close this, we can mark our boxes, we can mark our box, cut it out, and we're gonna steal power from this switch that's here. So it takes 120, okay? So let's do that. All right, so we're installing the outlet now. So we're gonna put the outlet right here. So what I like to use to cut something here, we've got a multi-cutter. A nice clean cut. Make sure we turn off the power. So now that we have this out, we're gonna take power from here and we're gonna fish it for here for an outlet. I'm gonna use 14 too. So I got the I got the wire through. Now we're gonna install the box. What do you do? Just open up, you open up here. like to do is get the wire. I usually like to cut, you know, eight inches, give or take. Boxes have ears, and so when you screw them in, they open up and they lock. And we'll be installing a ground fall outlet. Anytime you put an outlet outside, it has to be ground fall. It's just for your protection and anything. All right, so now we're ready to install the motorized bracket. I'm just gonna go in the ceiling, so we're gonna mark it. So now we have the marking. I'm gonna do a small pre-hole on each one. We're gonna install the two pre the, the two front screws. We're gonna install first. Now we install the last two in the back. Always make sure you put the washer. So 
Now, as you can see, got a nice and level. It's not gonna go anywhere. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect it, see how it works first. So remember, we have a an outlet here. So we have we put an outlet for this specific reason. All right, so it's powered up. Let's come with a battery. Needs uh, two AAA batteries. Let's give it a try. The fastest, it's not the fastest motor, but you know, what's the rush? So what we're doing now, now I'm bringing down the bracket. So the next step is to install the TV, but I need to bring it down to see and measure where the TV and the bracket is gonna go. Okay, now we're in the part of um, installing the bracket for the TV. So this is the back side and this is the front. And there's four brackets that we have to install. All right, so pretty much this is the front. Well, actually, you could, yeah, the front of the TV. And we have to install it. So they do come with screws. So from the back, you can move it around. Don't over tight all the screws yet. You can hand tighten it. Then get the other ones. I like to use a drill. It's just a little bit a little faster. Something to be careful with the drill. You put in the screw not too fast, you might strip the strip the screw. Alright, so now we got this done. Now we gotta just place it and the TV's on. And it's perfect perfect align with the holes where I have to go. So it's one, two, three, four. Now what you gotta do, they give you bags, bags of screws. You just gotta find the one that you need. So in this case, it looks like it's MB for the TV. So we just do a little dry, dry test. Beautiful. And we're gonna install washers. So we have this screw here. Now this screw is gonna go on the outside bracket. All right, we're gonna leave that alone. Once we install that, there's two more in the back. That's what's gonna hold the TV. This is just a little, it's a little slot on the bracket. You put on the TV, it sits in there so that you'll be able to put the last two. That's what's gonna secure the TV. So now, I don't recommend you doing this with by yourself. Unfortunately, I am by myself. So I'm gonna do it myself carefully. So Z comes with control. You're gonna plug in the power core. Also, so you don't want the wires to hang in the back. So you get some zip ties. You tie them nice. I'm gonna show you. I'm not running this TV on any cable. It is going to be uh, stream, so I don't need no any cable or anything. All right, so here we go. So this is the point or reason why I want to put the TV. So let's uh, bring the TV down. Now the motor is not fast. But you know, there's no rush for having the TV to come down. 
everything came out great and the point is was see i didn't have no no walls to put a tv in the wall so my only solution was to put it in the soffit so in the video that's what i show you what we have to do we have the outlet installed we put the uh, frame so you can hold the bracket now we can just sit back here and enjoy the tv with the fireplace thank you guys for watching the video if any questions you have write me a comment give me a like uh, there'll be more videos of other stuff to do and thank you for watching.